Yeah, it's about two climbers anyway in Peru. It's Peru. It's a true story. Yeah. In Peru and um, no one's ever conquered this peak. <laughs> and they basically do and one of them breaks their leg. So in, in not climbing terms, that's classed as you're dead basically. Yeah. <laughs> but the other one tries to help him and then he drops him. But he manages to crawl back after four days. So you can buy it in some good shops and some shit shops. Where? For about $19.99. <laughs> Peace. Thanks for interview, <laughs> sir. Huh? Thanks for interview. That's okay, mate. Yeah. Anytime you're up the volcano, I'll be here. You still don't know this is your last one. My last interview. So enjoy it. It's my first interview as well. Yeah, so. <laughs> especially with a Slovak, the other side of the country. You've been pretty good. Like, it's your first interview. You've been good. Yeah? Yeah. Do you think I could make it as an actor, maybe, or. Direct, uh, uh, like, I don't know. Yeah. Interviewee. If, if they need a dead body in any movie soon, yeah. Because you're not bad as an interviewer because <laughs> you're stood there with your hand on your hip, like a teapot, <laughs> on top of a volcano. <laughs> you know a shit about a tea. Oh no, you know a lot. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah, I'm a teapot. You're a teapot. You're right. You're a Slovakian teapot. Germans come in. So what do you think about the volcano, Herman? It's freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that is your balance. <laughs>